This video is brought to you by Kaiser Knives. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. And today we're gonna to be talking about this, which is the Go Solo backpack from Guard One. These guys have this backpack up on Indiegogo. And really a lot of times when people reach out to me with uh, crowdfunding backpacks or other outdoor gear, I'm just immediately intrigued because they're willing to put their time, their effort, their money behind something they believe in. So I usually wanna you know, check it out, investigate it, and see what I think about the product. This thing is, is pretty cool. It offers quite a bit to you, and uh, we're gonna take a look at it right now. All right, let's talk through some of the features on the pack. Overall, it's a 35 liter backpack, so it holds quite a bit of gear. On the top section here, you can see we have a bungee, so you can stuff a jacket, a windbreaker, or something under there, and then cinch that down. You do have an attachment point here. You've got your two clips to access the main section of the bag. As you can see, there's a clip to cinch that down as well, and also a bungee here. So, you know, I think once you get your gear in there, cinch it down, nothing's gonna be falling out. We do have a um, pocket on this side and a pocket on this side. Uh, water resistant zippers. And these go, as you can see, about 80% of the way around. So you can put pretty large gear in there. You're talking, you know, almost about a two foot uh, pocket right there on the side. Over here on this side, we have another long slender pocket. This is insulated. You can see I've got my clean canteen uh, in there. So yeah, I mean, cool. It's gonna keep your gear cool or keep your gear warm depending on what you have inside there. On the front here you can see we have one large mesh pocket so you can stuff gear in there. Uh, we do have a daisy chain here so you can put carabiners and attach gear there as well. Uh, the entire bag is water resistant as well so you know if you get some water on it it's not going to seep into the bag and, and cause any issues for you. So that's kind of looking at the main section here. When you get down to the bottom there's another zippered pocket where you can put some gear inside and then you've got straps here if you want to put a bedroll, if you want to put a thermarest, something like that down on the bottom of the pack. All right, let me show you what I actually have in the pack just to give you a sense of the overall capacity. So I've got a, um, this is a unused as you can see, but a battle box uh, hammock, Kelly kettle. Got uh, a full cook set here. Got a couple of pouches from the Hidden Woodsman just keeping some outdoor gear organized. That's everything in the main section and I could probably fit another, you know, double that amount basically in that main section. Let me open up this second section here. In here you can see I've got a um, fleece sleeping bag. And then I've, we've got inside these two pockets, one here on this side, one here on this side. This is gear that's actually included with the bag when you order it, so it's not just the bag. We're gonna talk about some of the l l legit bells and whistles that you get with it. But let me show you down here on the bottom real quick. Unsnap this down in the bottom. I've got a, uh, I've got a tarp. So that's just some of the gear that I put in the bag to give it a little more kind of structure and uh, just to show you what can actually be held in the bag. So right here is one of the features that really intrigued me about the bag. It has an integrated stool that basically it's part of the frame and then it folds out and now I got a place to sit. So for me, that's just a really, I, I love that idea. So I'm out, you know, doing some bushcraft and doing some work out in the woods and then I just want a place to sit, to carve, to cut, to do anything like that. Now I've got a place to do that. Yeah, certainly you could just sit on the ground, but this, you know, you're up off the ground, you're not gonna get wet, it's gonna, you're gonna avoid conduction and having that heat sucked out of your body. So I just think this is a, a really cool feature built right into the bag. Here's a quick look at how to put the stool or the chair away, basically fold this up. We have a piece of webbing with hook and loop here, piece there, and now it's out of the way and you can just put on the backpack and go for your walk. Looking at the other side of the pack, you can see we've got uh, straps Decent amount of padding, I mean they do what they need to do. It's not excessive, it's not too little, I think it's just about right. Uh, we do have some, we do have a D-ring here and then we've got a little pouch if you want to put some gear inside. Maybe it's, uh, if you've got a small cell phone, if you've got, uh, you know, maybe a, a granola bar or something you want to put in there, you can do that. Sternum strap across the chest and then a uh, waist strap as well. The other thing you see on the front here are these two little uh, orange things and these are actually lights. So I'm going to click one of these on we got some different settings. So you've got a high, medium, low, and then off. And you can obviously run with these on. Turn them off here real quick. 
You can also put them, you can have them in the front, you can put them in the back as a signal so people can see you. They don't flash or anything like that, but it's built in, uh, built in lights that you can move up and down. You can take them totally off. They are removable. Put them somewhere else in the pack, bring them into your tent at night, whatever you want to do. That comes with the, uh, with the pack as well. So here's a look at the pack actually on me. You can see where the two lights fall. Again, you can take them off, put them on a different spot on the pack if you want to. Here's a look at it from the side and then from the back. The uh, waist strap is lightweight. It's got these um, little retention elastics, which I love. That's a big thing for me. I just don't want you know, a piece of webbing just flopping all over the place. So little things add up for me in packs. Um, it is a pull to the rear as opposed to pull to the front when it comes to adjusting your, uh, your waist strap. Um, again, 35 liters, so you can store quite, amount of, quite a decent amount of gear in this if you're going out for you know, a day hike, you're going hunting, camping, whatever the case might be. But there's a look at the pack. All right, so as I'm sitting here on the fold-out chair from the backpack, let me talk about some of the technology that's built into this pack. So it comes with this, which is an 11-watt solar charging panel. And I'll roll in some footage here to show you what it looks like. It actually attaches, as you can see, to the pack so you can attach this to your pack and be charging up gear all right so this is the battery pack slash multi-tool um, what comes with it you can see here you've got this rubberized section if you pull this down you've got access to a bunch of charging ports so four usb ports to charge things um, it's got the little input there so you can actually charge up the battery and then you've got the on off switch and then you've got a uh, a light or lights, I should say, built in here at the end. You're gonna turn the battery pack on here by sliding that switch from off to on, obviously. And then you've got this little button here down at the end, and I'll show you when I hold it down, your light comes on, tap it again, it's gonna flash SOS. And then if I tap it again, it's just gonna give you a bunch of flashes just to kind of get somebody's attention. Tap it again, and it goes off. Now that's with a single tap of the button. If you double tap the button, let me just hold this like this and show you. It's gonna come on with the flashing red and blue and then let me shine that not directly into the camera lens tap it again it's gonna go red blue like that and then again it's gonna go even faster and then tap it again here and it will go back to the original and then double tap and it'll go off so um, definitely you know ways to get people's attention as well as a flashlight in addition to what I've shown you already, I'm going to show you the, all the uh, attachments that they give you. But let me just show you a couple other things that are built in there. There's a compass up on top. They're calling that a, uh, a glass breaker. You've got a strap cutter there with a blade inside. Now, you know, this is not going to be, the, this is not a glass breaker that's equivalent to if you had one on the, you know, the um, pommel end of a knife or if you had a dedicated glass breaker or if you had a compass around your neck. But, you know, they've got extra space so they put these little extra features into the, uh, into the power pack. All right, let me show you the attachments that come with this thing here. We've got a bunch of different inputs so you, know, you can charge up different things. We've got the car charger. This is one of the cords I was using earlier. We got cords to charge up your uh, your phone, and we've got for your iPad, your iPhone, uh, standard USB. Yeah, just a lot of different inputs there. Here's your charger to actually charge up the battery, and then lastly, they include this, which is for obviously jump starting your car. So there's actually a port in the uh, in the power pack that you plug this into to you know jump start your car. The other cool thing about this pack is that for every dollar they raise, they're gonna buy one square foot of wilderness to protect it. So if they raise $50,000, they're gonna buy 50,000 square feet of wilderness to protect it. So that's cool, you know, you're you're getting a pack, you're getting some of the, the features that you might be interested in, but also every dollar that you're spending on the pack is going to be also helping to protect the, uh, the wilderness that we all love getting out into and enjoying. Let me offer you some final thoughts on the pack. Uh, first off, price on the Indiegogo that they're launching today, uh, which is July 10th, 2018. Uh, it's going to be 250 for the pack, but the first 50 people are going to get it for 175. So, you know, if you're interested, pull the trigger quickly because you'll save quite a bit of money. Um, is this uh, a backpacking backpack? I don't think so. I don't think this is like, uh, you know, I'm doing six days in the wilderness. I'm going to fill this up with all my gear and go. Um, this for me is like a hunting backpack, bushcrafting. I'm going to get out, out into the woods and enjoy myself for the day, fishing, whatever it might be. It can carry quite a bit of gear because it's 35 liters. Um, but I don't think it's designed to be, you know, a long-term backpacking backpack. That's just not, I don't think that's what it's built for. So, you know, if you're going to buy it, use it for its actual purpose. 
by far my favorite feature on the pack is the fold-out chair. I just think that's cool. So, you know, throw my gear in here, head out into the woods. Now I can sit down, work on a review. I can, you know, like I said, do carving and other things. I have a feeling you're going to see me using this pack in the woods for other reviews so I can, you know, just sit down as I'm talking on camera and talking about gear. I'm relatively sure that they got the uh, the power pack and all the attachments kind of as one package when they when they purchased it. So you you can go through that gear and eliminate some weight. If you're like, well, I'm going into the woods, I don't need the you know the car jump starter cables. You can leave those at home, or I don't need all those extra attachments. I just need this one. So you get the whole system, and then you can choose kind of what you actually want to use and what you don't want to use. Like I said at the beginning, I always like companies who are willing to you know create a product, design a product, and then just get behind it. Um, so I like to support guys who are who are doing stuff like that, and I think this may be something that you want to uh, you want to check out. I have used the pack. I have carried gear in it. Again, I'm not using this for long-term backpacking. I'm using this for going out into the woods, doing some bushcrafting, wilderness survival skills, and it's uh, it's worked well for me. I have not used this pack long term, so I can't talk about the long term durability of it. Um, but you know, like I said, so far it's worked well. Um, I do like the solar panel as well. I was just looking at that, looking at that here. Um, I like that it attaches to the pack and that it's it's a little bit bigger. Sometimes you get solar panels, like I've got one on a charger for a, uh, it's got like a, a power bank uh, battery that's got the solar panel on it. And I've sat that in the sun for hours and it doesn't seem to charge really at all. It just takes so long. This one's much bigger, so it's gonna actually charge your gear uh, much more quickly. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up here. Um, I do wanna mention to you that when they reached out to me, I was just intrigued by the pack, but then they offered the additional bonus and they said, hey, if you, uh, you know, for every pack you sell, we're gonna give you 10% of the proceeds, which will help benefit the Everyday Tactical Vids channel. But honestly, um, even if they didn't offer that, I, I would still do it because I think it's kind of interesting. I think it's kind of a cool pack and, you know, maybe something that you guys are interested in. I always like to remind people that um, I feel like part of my job as a reviewer is to check out gear and to let you know about it. I haven't had the chance to use this long term, but short term, it's worked well. And um, yeah, you know, now here, here's an opportunity for you to watch their video, head over to the website, the Indiegogo website, find out more information and see if this fits into your systems or whatever the case might be. Thanks for watching the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and now Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.